You are listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZW LP Conroe and 106.1 KZCC LP Conroe and worldwide on IRLoneStar.com. Hi, this is Cindy Cochran. Welcome to the podcast of my show. Remember, you can join me live every weekday morning from 10 to 11 a.m. on Lone Star Community Radio, on Conroe's FM 106.1 and 104.5, and globally on IRLoneStar.com. If you're a big fan of my podcast, subscribe to my YouTube and SoundCloud channels, and you're always invited to my Facebook page, The Cindy Cochran Show. The Cindy Cochran Show is brought to you by our title sponsor, The Wooten Financial Group. Call today for all your financial concerns, 936-449-5952. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. Oh, yes, we love Thursdays here because this means that uh, tomorrow is Friday. Yes, we've got that down pat. Um, You didn't say your Friday eves. I I was getting ready to. Oh, I I beat you to the punch. Yes, you did. (laughs) Jake the intern likes to steal my thunder. You know, we can't call you Jake the intern anymore. We're going to have to call you Jake the engineer. Jake the engineer. That's got yeah. a good ring to it. I like that. Jake the engineer. I, I would started my college career to become an engineer, but it was right. a petroleum engineer. And, oh. and my two friends finished with engineering degrees. And now I can say I'm an engineer with them, even yes, though I don't have the schooling for that sort of engineering. I was going to say, they couldn't do what you're doing either. So it's Exactly. Okay. It's okay. It's, it's cool. Uh, I think that what um, what started think, me thinking about this is he keeps saying that, and I thought, oh, people are going to just tuning in thinking you're just a novice at this, and you're not, and you've got the voice to be on radio, and then you are. You are going to be, have your own show. I like voice on radio rather than face for radio. So I, I, my brothers <laughs> constantly remind me that I have a face for radio. All, all ladies out there, I, I am not hideous. I promise they're just mean brothers, and they're picking on me. You know he is not hideous. Get that shot on. Where's that shot? There he is. Hello. He is not hideous. He, and uh, I think Cindy has a crush on you. So it's just, Little Cindy? Yeah, I think she has a crush on you. And um, so you have to watch that. But And uh, she's very discerning about who she likes and doesn't like. So well, I feel honored. You should feel very, very honored. And uh, she's very truthful. Uh, so anyway, they'll be here tomorrow because um, I have to go somewhere and 11 o'clock, which just means I'm going to go, bye, and then I have to take them so, with me. So little Cindy and Samuel are going to do the show, no you? No, no, we're going to have Joey and Lizzie on the show. Oh, oh that's right. That's I may right. give it over all to them. I just may say, I'm, I'm going to sit over here or at Conroe <laughs> Coffee. And <laughs> I think we should go four, four mics deep, and we should have little Cindy and Samuel on the right, and we should have... Uh, I, Joey uh, and what's the girlfriend's name? Lizzie. Lizzie, I gotta get that Anne down Hathaway. before tomorrow. Just say. Oh, I'm gonna call her Anne Hathaway. Yes, you will. Yeah, that'll be the problem. <laughs> she looks exactly like Anne Hathaway. And all you who, um, you know, we're not showing this live, but we will. It'll be seen uh, just by the end of the day tomorrow. And you, you're getting these shows up so fast. Well, it's not all me. I mean, it's, 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 it's Richard and I, but it's okay. it's just. Let's give credit where credit. Well, yeah, yes. exactly. I mean, it, it's nice. He's he has to. I got keys yesterday to the station. He, he trusts me so much. You know what? I don't even have a key to the station. I know you don't. And I've had to sit out and sit on that park bench when he was late before. <laughs> I don't have keys. That's okay. I don't want to. I don't want any other responsibility. <laughs> and if this a place, show is enough. <laughs> yeah. If this place gets broken into, he'll come to me first. You know. So I just. I would rather you have that all that responsibility. Well, that's exciting. Congratulations. I know. Thank you. That does mean that is a big big deal. So. um so anyway, I I wanted to say that yesterday we had a beatdown of uh, Kathy Griffin. Oh, yes, yes, we did. <laughs> I, I, I got scared there for a second. I was like, Joy what? looked at me like, what did we do? <laughs> well, listen, I, I need to put this back a little. Uh, does this headset make my head look fat? Uh, we really, we really need to get these curtains closed, or we need to get you on the other side so that way you can't look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help my eyes are drawn to it. It's like I see that monitor. Well, when I look at you, I can, I can't help but no, see I it. No, I know, it's I right know. there. Um, no, anyway, so we had our beat down of uh, Kathy Griffith, and I'm sure if you watched any TV, you would have seen that. But the follow up to that, if you haven't, and you turn it off and you go like, I'm not gonna listen to any of this stupid stuff. Um, is that CNN has uh, let her go mm-hmm. for the uh, the January show, the 
New Year's Eve show because she is not the person you want to bring in the new year. Oh, my word. Just not the person. I'm sorry. She was. She had her time, and she did all of her shock jock type of stuff um, in early in her career, and everybody you know, thought it was funny because she would say the words that she said, and she was just so outrageously disgusting about a lot of stuff. And, they, and the kids loved her, and uh, she had her niche. Well, she thought she was going to be able to reach that niche, but uh, too many people said, that's disgusting, that's horrible, uh, her holding up a severed head, you know, severed head of uh, Donald Trump in effigy. And so it was just, it was stupid. It was really stupid. But Al Franken, do you know who he, who he is? Okay, Al Franken is the senator, and he was, uh, he was on the Saturday Night Live show. Okay. And... He, um, he's very extremely, extremely liberal and all. And he said, well, uh, she just made a mistake, and I'm still going to appear with her. And the person on CNN went, really? And he said, yes. And so that was, um, that was a big thing. Anderson yesterday. Cooper didn't even do that. I yeah, mean, that's he, what. The- <laughs> he hopped off that wagon as <laughs> Real quick, quick as possible. Somebody Real was quick. screaming bloody murder on ooh, that thing, ooh. and he. Yeah, yeah, he jumped ship real quick. Yeah, it's funny you find out who your friends are, Kathy. It's just not gonna happen uh, if it thinks if they if they think this if they think that's going to upset their career in any way. And uh, you know, he lost the the Kathy Lee um, mm-hmm. gig to Ryan Seacrest, so now he's uh, he's got to make sure that stays st- stable at CNN. And uh, so she uh, she's gone from that. And I, I just wonder. I'm, I'm just wondering. I'm watching all this and listening to it. Um, that how long, how, how, you know, what legs this story has. Well, last last night during CNN's, you know, they have this big conference table of people to say what they think. And so they, uh, one of the people said, you know what? We just have more important things to discuss than this Kathy Griffin thing. This is just, you know, like, okay, a joke gone wrong, big deal, all right, uh, you know, one sentence about it, and then let's talk about things that are really important. And I just had to laugh because the things that they continue to discuss, besides Russia, was a typo that uh, Donald Trump made on a tweet that he did, and they think he was trying to to spell coverage, and it came out um, C O V. F E F E, Kafafi or Kafafi. Anyway, they were Kafafi. everybody was trying to pronounce it Kafafi. and making fun of him, making fun of it, trying to think what he was trying to say, and uh, so. So then, that that was their more important. News. I mean, they discussed that more than they did even discussing and reviewing uh, the fact that Donald Trump had asked for two scoops of ice cream. That story, I think, went on. That must have been like two or three days, but it's. Um, he is a gift that never stops giving him about stuff that uh, that people want to talk about. But uh, it's just outrageous that some of the stuff well, that they decide and, is and that's why, news. That's why when you were always like, oh, well, have you seen this? Have you seen that? I just don't consume news the way I, I would consider normal people do because I don't <laughs> like watching them. I, and it's Fox or it, – because they, they, they highlight the, the most idiotic things because they're mm. trying to not discuss – Something that makes them necessarily look bad, or makes the Republican or the Democrat Party look bad. Well, you know? I think that uh, it, it's funny because CNN, MSNBC, and uh, whatever uh, all the other are there, but that even have ratings uh, do get. You know, they're myopic and they're focused on. Uh, they're going to talk, only talk about what may be destructive. In the Trump administration, what they can talk about, but people are so sick of it. And then the crickets come out whenever they have a, these subpoenas that went out for Rice and Powell, and these subpoenas were uh, sent to them three people high up in the Obama administration, former Obama administration, for uncovering the leaks. Uh, and so this is a big deal. But there's like crickets on a lot of this, a lot of networks. You're not hearing a lot about it. But uh, we certainly know about how many scoops of ice cream that the president did. So there's a lot of more important things. That's right. But these leaks are very important, and they've been called, uh, you know, treasonous because of people leaking this information to the oh, public, yeah. and that this is not a good thing for us, uh, for anybody. 
But for them to do it and then think that they're going to be able to get away with it, and they may, they may, and may end up getting away with it. But it is difficult for um, for us to believe anything, and that's why we have to have Truthful Tuesdays on on the Cindy Cochran show. And, and MSNBC should be thanking Trump right now because they are the number one news program for the first time in I don't know how many years, mm-hmm. and. It's all because of Trump, of and course. it's all because of how much they can uh, bash him. Beat up, <laughs> you know. And, it, it is tr- you're exactly right. Uh, he, and Trump understands the ratings. He certainly understands the ratings, and so yeah, I mean, he is. You know, he's given them the ratings, and he'll say that's why he didn't have to spend very much money on advertising. Is because all the networks kept him in front of people's faces consistently, and whenever they beat him up so much, it starts to get. You know, people get desensitized to that, and then they're gonna go. Wait a minute. You know, if you hate him this much, and we hate y'all this much because y'all are lying to us all the time and all that, <laughs> he must be a good guy. You know, so you never know what's going to backfire on on anybody. You just don't know. Well, like even Stephen Colbert too. Like he, mm. uh, his late night show has seen just phenomenal ratings because mm-hmm. all he does is poke fun at Trump. Right. You know? Right. So right. As... Th- these people <laughs> have so much to thank Trump for, as much as they don't <laughs> like him. And I like the more they, more people listen to him, they start thinking, you know. The media is ridiculous because the more you watch all the all the stations, you start seeing there is talking points. That's really a real thing because everybody's saying the same thing, and so you find out. Wait, I where should, where do I get the truth? So you go to C-SPAN, <laughs> and C-SPAN, you're hearing it come straight out of their mouth. No, nobody's saying anything about it or or uh, you spinning can form it. your own opinion, your own opinion, and that's what I like to do. Because I have my own opinion, and you know that. And then I'll uh, I'll let you know it. If you like it, you like it. You don't, you don't. Okay, it's okay. I, I like people to disagree with me. It's okay. It is. But not you, Jake. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> not you. For those who, who don't ever watch the show on YouTube after it, after it airs, <laughs> she has a long whip that just she snaps at me every That's time it. I disagree with her. You got it. Hey, listen, this is the Cindy Cochran Show, and it's real reality radio. And I'm just going to... Please come back. Every week I get asked the same two questions. Am I ready to retire? Will my savings last for our lifetime? Hi, this is Chris Wooten with Wooten Financial Group. Our firm has been in Montgomery County for decades, but the hopes and dreams of the people we serve never change. If these two questions are on your mind, we'd like to help. We have a simple introductory client experience that allows us to get to know you and includes a few meetings for you to kick the tires at no charge. We'll provide you with a one-page summary that helps you get a better handle on which questions are the right questions for you. To take the first step to a clear direction for your retirement, call Wooten Financial at 936-449-5952. That's 936-449-5952. Or visit us on the web at WootenFinancial.com. That's W-O-O-T-T-O-N Financial.com. Get started today. Back on the Cindy Cochran Show, and I thank you so much for listening. And I do thank our sponsor, the Wooten Financial Group. Just like you heard Chris say, um, they uh, let you come in and kick the tires for, you know, for free. They have, you have a couple of visits; you don't pay anything. You just kick the tires, and so uh, they're a great group. Okay, listen, guys, we uh, we're gonna have soon Nathan. Okay, I'm gonna try and pronounce his last name. I love to say his last name because it's so Italian. He's got to be Italian, right? Asad. Arizadi. 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 Because I keep Nathan thinking. Arizadi. I want to order that at an Italian restaurant. <laughs> Arizadi. And, uh, and he's going to be here. Um, he's on right after my show. Um, is it Wednesday through Friday, right? Is Wednesday through yes, Friday. Yes, correct. Yeah. Wednesday through Friday. And I, I keep telling, um, and he's going to come in and probably mention this. When you look at his thing online, it says Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday, and it's supposed to be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Richard is the only one who has access to actually go and fix that problem, and I keep telling Richard, <laughs> and Nathan keeps telling me, and so nothing gets done. <laughs> I love that. Well, we'll just, uh, that's what we call, uh, call Richard out. Richard, get this fixed right now today, and then he'll start telling me, yeah, well, how many of uh, your uh, synopsis have you done? So I can't say anything to him. It's just like I can't have an argument with Sam because whatever I start to say, he'll he'll back me down with something I haven't done yet. I'm like, okay, okay, fine. Um, so yesterday, after our of our 
our conversations and stuff. I um, I did, you know, I kept forgetting to let people know. I think we, we said it a couple of times, but that right now, if you are, um, if you've got uh, Suddenlink, you need to start watching in the morning at 9 o'clock. And then you'll get to see the uh, Cindy Cochran show on your TV screen. You don't have to go to your app. You don't have to go to the computer. You just look channel 12, channel 12, right between 11 and 13. What better position could you be in is to on, on cable is it between the two channels of our local uh, CBS and ABC affiliates right there, channel 13, <laughs> channel 11, CBS. So it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. And thank you, Don Wilson, for uh, sending in James Corden's name. Um, it was too late. I was, the show was over, and I saw that you had uh, you had posted that, and you said that's his name, James Corden, the late night uh, guru right now. I love him. I love him more than anybody else on the on you know on the late night talk shows and stuff. He is so creative and so fun and so energetic. And uh, but Jake had finally he. Googled it and uh, told me, and we forgot to say it was James Corden. Yeah, it was James Corden. Yeah, I, and I, I'm not the biggest fan of his. Oh, you don't like him? But his his late nights is good. I because I, he was in, um, I think it was called Into the, Into the Woods. Woods with yeah, Real I didn't. Street. I didn't care for that movie. I, they I, that I had a, a lot of potential, and I think yeah. they they kind of botched it. No, and, I totally uh, agree with you. And I think he was part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> offense to him. I, I don't know him personally. I didn't know. But. I didn't know who that. That was him. Yeah. And, you know, I just know from my uh, daughter saying, Mother, come here, listen to this guy. And he's got, you know, somebody in the car with him. And he says, watch. Dale was in the car with him. And he says, watch him shock her. Because he knew every bit of her song and would sing along with her and would hit the notes. And he was he was so good and funny because he seemed so genuinely impressed, the fact, impressed with the fact that he was with these stars and that he just, you know, like worshipped these people. He knew everything about them. And the car ride uh, and him picking them up off the street and, and driving through Hollywood was so, so good. Now, he copied that from me because I had, <laughs> on, on a show that I did, whenever uh, this station was Way More FM, I did a show. <laughs> it was called The Cindy Cochran Show. Too. And um, I did drive alongs and it was called the front seat uh, front seat politician or something I could remember anyway I, and I talked politics with people driving in the front seat with them and so it was and, and it was their view about things and it was so fun because I had you know liberals I had conservatives and, and it was just so much fun to do this because it got us out of the studio and it was in a car and it's moving so you have all the elements that you need. How you need did to Richard approve of this? Richard wasn't in charge at that time. Uh, it was, uh, and I did the editing stuff on it. So when was this? This was in the, uh, three years ago, 14, 13, or 14. Uh, I can't remember, okay. 2014. Uh, and then Richard then bought the station, and it became, you know, just country western and all that. Okay. But, but they were live streaming, and live streaming wasn't really ready for the computer or the computer was not ready for live streaming and so many people got so upset like they have to wait they go i'd go like so anyway this is the cindy cochran show and then it would just catch up you could see the thing spinning trying to catch up and it was and that's hard to watch i mean people no, have to be, it is and, and it's amazing how far technology has come yikes and so the the streaming and now everybody can do that and he was paying a lot of money the uh gary who had who had owned it first uh, was paying a lot of money for the streaming pr uh, uh, process, and it was horrible because it just uh, it wasn't ready. Now some computers were, you know, would, yeah, would I take mean, it. Yeah, you have. Yeah. But everybody couldn't take. So it needs to be something that older people that don't know or care about how much RAM or whatever they have in their computer. RAM's an old word, isn't it? No, no, RAM is still yeah. I, yeah, you got. I haven't it. heard RAM in a long time. It just like, nobody talks about RAM. That's, that must be it because that was. I just, the, the, the latest and greatest is the new hard drives. Like my computer mm -hmm. that I just bought uh, a month ago has yeah. the new hard drive. 
which is no longer a spinning hard drive. So like in that laptop to your right, there is a spinning hard drive. Yes. And that's how it, it's powered. Mine is it doesn't a, spin anymore? Mine is a 100% digital hard drive, and it helps the speed and battery life, and it works better. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, okay. Well, that's what, I, you know, because I remember I, I got one of those um, Asus. Yeah, but, Asus. A Asus, that's right. Asus. Asus. Jesus. I was trying Jesus. to make it very biblical, but it was um, <laughs> not Jesus, but, not but Jesus, <laughs> Jesus' twin That's brother. Right. Yeah, it was named after. Um, but I, I got. I remember getting. I bought that, and I had been through all this technical schooling from the IT guy at uh, Time Warner, and he went through everything trying to. He knew I was going to go back. Computer, so he did all this. Sh sit down with me and say, "This is what you look for. This is what you want to get." Da, 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 you know this. And I came back with this uh, Asus, and he was like, "What is this?" And I went, "Well, it's." He says, "Why did you buy this? This is nothing like I told you to buy." And I said, "But it was green. It was the first green computer I'd ever seen, and it went well in the office." And he goes, "Oh!" I'm, and he just walked out of the office. <laughs> he had to come back, and he goes. Okay, and he took it apart to see what it had in yeah. it. Yeah, but it had power. There was enough power in there for what I needed, and that he could. He said, "I'm going to have to add three levels of, to boost this to where you, you know, it's going to it's going to help you." But at least it has the capacity to go to it, because I didn't know what he would say. You yeah, know, it's got this much or that much. It made me sick. But he, um, but I love that computer. It was so cool looking because nobody else had a green. There was no color. It was all the beige color, and there was the first. Green, so cool looking. We I learned mean, so much about you every day, Cindy. <laughs> it's like, I am so IT challenged, and um, I just didn't think I'd have to worry about that anymore. You know, I just like felt like I, I knew how to edit, but with the editing machines, all went boom. It just like went crazy, um, and everything changed. And you, you had something for the, you know, you had a Chiron for the what you're gonna print on the screen, and then you have the. Uh, actual editing and you had special effects so you had all these machines that you worked with to make these things happen and I was learning all that and, and I was learning it because the editors would tell me they couldn't do something and I would get so mad I go like wait why can't you do that because I, I found out they were just lazy they don't want to do it and they knew they could tell me and I'd have to believe them so I learned I learned they they helped push me to learn to do that um, anyway so I, I'm I'm there I'm the executive producer of Time Warner and they say to me we're going to send you to um, Silicon Valley, and there's a guy there that has invented one machine that en encompasses all of these machines we have, and we want you to go and test it for us and see what you think and see if you think it's uh, worth all the time Warner's buying it. So they put that on my shoulders, and that was like a big deal because then, you know, all the time Warner's would buy it. So these people in Silicon Valley was like, yeah, you know, and red carpet. Bowing down yes. to you, yeah. And this guy came and picked me up at the airport in his uh, Porsche. Porsche. And he's driving me there, and I find out he's the one who invented Pong. And that's where, really? that's where it, he got his money and started and started from. So it was so it was so much fun because I knew Pong. That I knew. That was just <laughs> the, the new thing. It was like, okay. And, uh, and You're really to, dating yourself there. I am so <laughs> dating myself. Uh, but I, I went in these, in these uh, Silicon Valley was amazing. It was like an amazing place. And uh, it, it was just the geeks of all geeks. Well, just, they're, they're, they're talking about was, moving it. That's what I heard. That's, that coming, would be. Coming to Texas. Now, that would be fun. That would be awesome. Are you kidding? The, the, really? The, the property value here in Texas is so much cheaper. And right. And it's so much more affordable for major yeah. companies like that. Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, it's already happened. Uh, Google has an office now just in the outskirts of Austin and everything. So, yeah, it's... Austin, of course. That's well, where they it'll, that's where it'll be. It'll be near Austin. No. Yeah, it'll be near no. Austin. That, they will suck them in and make them get Austin. Oh, Austin's already as goofy as goofy <laughs> can get. <laughs> it really is. No, I love Austin. Okay. Uh, we will be right back. We've got to go to a break. And don't go away. We're waiting on Nathan... Say his name one more time. Arizade. Arizade. Oh, no, I don't want Italian tonight. Okay, all right. Anyway, we'll be right back. The Cindy Cochran Show, Real Reality Radio. Every week I get asked the same two questions. Am I ready to retire? 
Will my savings last for our lifetime? Hi, this is Chris Wooten with Wooten Financial Group. Our firm has been in Montgomery County for decades, but the hopes and dreams of the people we serve never change. If these two questions are on your mind, we'd like to help. We have a simple introductory client experience that allows us to get to know you and includes a few meetings for you to kick the tires at no charge. We'll provide you with a one-page summary that helps you get a better handle on which questions are the right questions for you. To take the first step to a clear direction for your retirement, call Wooten Financial at 936-449-5952. That's 936-449-5952. Or visit us on the web at WootenFinancial.com. That's W-O-O-T-T-O-N Financial.com. Get started today. Okay, we're back on the Cindy Cochran Show. Yes, we are. And here with me in the studio, besides the train, is we have Nathan. Okay, wait. Arizadi. Arizadi. Is that correct? Am I saying it right? That'll be just fine. Just no, stick wait. with Nathan or Nate. Nate? Or Boudreaux. You're not Nate. You're Nathan. Well, Nathan. Nate. I like both. You do? Yeah. You, when you were little, what'd they call you? Uh, Nathan, Nate. My Nate. Mexican side of the family would call me, you know, Nathan or Natancito. <laughs> little, little Nathan. But you're Italian, correct? Half right. Mexican. Half Mexican, half Italian? Nope, half Mexican, half uh, Heinz that's 57 a, Gringo. That's a Mexican name, not Italian? It's, well, it's Bosque. My father's family, my father's father's family traces back to original, uh, or traces back to, to uh, Bosque, the Bosque people in the mountains in Spain. And then my grandmother's side, my father's mother's side of the family, original Aztec Indian. So a lot of people think, a lot of people think it's Spanish. You just pulled your... <laughs> a lot of people think that it is Italian, right? But it's it's Spanish. It's Bosque. Arizade? No, it's no. Arizade. We were wrong. You know what? Just how about Nathan Arizate? Arizade. Is it Arizade? Is that? It's Arizade. Arizade. But it's been butchered my whole life. So Arizade. No, but I want to. I was gonna. I was gonna order it at an Italian restaurant. Arizade, <laughs> because it we'd seems like a side like, of <laughs> And then I was like, what? You want like, no, we have Medicati. Medicati. <laughs> Medicati. That's why. But you know what? So I'm honored that you that you worried and tried to, do, to, to say it right. I, that's cool. That's cool. I want to make sure, because I put your name so bad, Nathan. It's just terrible. Uh, but Nathan makes sure that, would make sure that I, I remember who he's with and what his name of his show is. He's got it on the back of his computer. And he opened his computer and I went, oh, thank you. <laughs> I want to give people badge, name badges and all that stuff well, so I, I you can know remember. What? I, you're exactly right. I need to work on that. I need to get me some shirts with my logo on this side and little name badges. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> when I order mine, I order you some too. <laughs> Would you please? I can put it right there. Cause that's what's so bad. So I, I went to my 50th uh, high school reunion and they put these tags on you. Well, the tags hang like right here. And so people come up to you and go, hello, Cindy Cochran, how are you? And then they look up like, like they knew you or they remembered you. They didn't remember at all. And so, But uh, I'm so glad you're here. Well, and thanks you're for just, having me. Didn't he bring such energy into the room when he walked in? He always brings a ton Nathan of energy. Nathan is amazing. Always. He just, he, you wear down that sidewalk out there talking on your phone. And he, I said, look how busy this guy is. Why he is on the phone, always talking to people. Just blowing and going. I'm talking Nathan. to my bell bondsman. That's what it is. <laughs> I, no. I should have known. Yeah, you no. and Tiger Woods. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tiger Woods is the only one that's happy about Kathy Griffin. Oh, yes. Oh, because yeah. I heard you took, guys talking about her. Because that took all the, the spotlight off of him for a minute. And uh, so he was happy about that. <laughs> he Poor paid her to thing. do that. I think that was it. <laughs> He's the one who ordered the photographer to come in. But um, he, the picture they have of him. And then that mug shot. Oh, it's so bad. And then for them to try and tell people that, you know, like it wasn't, he had no alcohol in his system. It was, uh, it was, it was prescription gr drugs. And now they've called in his, uh, his doctor and all that because they did the, you know, the breathalyzer. There was no alcohol and they didn't have, he didn't have any in his system. So they did a blood test. So he was cleared of that. But do you think anybody's going to remember any of that? No, because well, they see that picture and they think, he was drunk. He he might still be DWI just with prescription meds and right. versus instead of alcohol. Yeah, yes, I mean, can. there's a reason it says do not take this and drive. And technically, 
if they take that and drive, it's still... Well, that's what they're going to look at. They're going to look at the prescription that... Now, do you do you read the... Uh, when you take... Uh, you get a new drug from your doctor. Do you open that up, that Walgreens sticks to that and clamps to it and, and open up and read all of the... the if it's uh, a brand new um, med, I'll read the first part that tells you what, warning. what the warning, the very first part of the warning, because uh -huh. the rest is just... I learned a long time ago, when they do those studies, anything that happens during that study, they have right. to say is a side effect. So if you're taking uh, an eye drop medicine mm -hmm. and one person out of the thousand gets a rash right. somewhere that we won't discuss, right. then you have to say may cause a rash. In their eye. No, okay. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. what... Well, I mean, did you know? I, I found that out. That they have to say that. Yeah. No, they have to. They really... That's exactly right. So that's why I don't go read the whole thing. Well, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And but, I'm, but is Cindy, he? there's a lot of people out there that are sympathizing for Tiger, which is very shocking to me. And and yes. they're, they're not necessarily condoning what he did, but they're saying, oh, it was just prescription drugs and not right. alcohol, well, which I don't think makes a difference. Well, it, we, just had somebody, deal, we just had a huge case here. Here in, that, in Conroe? That guy was on prescription meds and shouldn't have been driving and he killed a family of four. Oh, that's right. Again, and, and I know both. I, I got to meet both sides. I got to meet uh, both families, uh, and this, his family was crushed. Mm -hmm. They knew that Dad made a mistake, but it crushed them what happened. Sure. And they felt for the other family. They weren't condoning what Dad did, but right. they didn't want their father, brother, Dad to go away for life. Right. So they're brokenhearted and they're crushed. Mm -hmm. But they also crushed for the other family who lost four members. So well, I think there's that ramifications. This Tiger Woods thing could raise a lot of awareness for you need to be reading that yeah. <laughs> because this is what they're going to do. They're going to go back and look and see. And if that was stamped, uh, if well, Walgreens had clipped that to <laughs> and he didn't, and it was there, that's his responsibility to read that. And you're right. They put everything under the sun that could happen to you. That's why I, one day I came in, um, on the show, and I played all of the disclaimers from these things. Uh, take Sududa for this or whatever. And, and then this other voice comes on, very calm voice, that tries not to make a big variation of Why what you're turn? hearing so that you don't, you know, oh. think about it and go like, could cause blindness, could cause death, could cause you never to ever have children ever again. And this, uh, but take Dizetta, and then it's good. No, it's just ridiculous. So I, we started playing. I was like, why would you take this thing if, when they say this? May cause death. And, yeah, they, it's just, it's ridiculous. So um, the, side, the side effects are, get to be comical if you listen to that stuff. And it's not comical if it happens to you, but I think that, you know, people, the doctors are getting so leery of, uh, of saying, giving out antibiotics so quickly because we're all starting to get desensitized to the effects they they feel now, and that they'll never be able to uh, to cure anything. So I I don't know. It's it's just uh, interesting, and we have to watch ourselves and be responsible for what we put in our body, right? Yep. Boy, this body is yelling at me like you <laughs> hypocrite, you hypocrite. <laughs> Shut up, Cindy. <laughs> so. Anyway, uh, so I'm so glad to have you here. Oh, and thanks. Haven't you covered a wide variety of subjects since you've been here? <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> this is that, what that, we do. Isn't that what talk radio a lot That's of times what, is? Yeah. You it's don't just, focus in on one thing. No, because people get so sick of one thing, <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, but Nathan, and there's so much happening out there right now. I want to so know. I, I've been here, I guess, two months now. I I don't know what you do for a living. I, I hear you talk <laughs> about going to parties and, and all these events and activities. I, do you have your own company? I, I don't know what you do for a living. That's that, that's funny you say that because I've heard that off and on. And for a while there, I was promoting what I do and stuff like that. And then I just kind of got away from it. And it's bad business. I'm not, I'm not practicing what I preach to other companies. Ah. Um, but when you're a trust fund baby, it's okay. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> not. Somebody did say that. Somebody, you know, it's really funny you said that. About two years ago, somebody seriously started that rumor that. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. And it was. And it was for real. They really made people think for real. This guy's got a lot of money and blah blah blah. I'm like, yeah, let me show you my bank account, dude. Let me oh. let me show you that bill that came the other day that said mm -hmm. I'm past due. Yeah. Um, no, and thanks for asking Just that. Just like we are. I try to promote. I try to promote the community. Well, what does that mean? I try to promote businesses, organizations, people, events, and I do that for money. And what that looks like is I've got some clients mm -hmm. that I manage their Facebook. I am their Facebook. You, Some of them, you never see my name. You don't see my handprint. You just think so-and-so is running their business, running their Facebook, whether it's them, their secretary, 
their you know pool boy, their wife, their husband, their kid. You don't know who's running it. Right. And putting out their posts on a daily basis or every other day and stuff like that. Then there's some people where... Can I hire you? Yes. Okay. That's what I do. <laughs> and I give discounts to nonprofits and I give discounts to friends. But the other thing is, is sometimes I'm brought into people's social media they're managing to manage their Facebook, and it's not for a long time. I want to be fired. I want to go in and teach you how to put up posts, how to put up good content, how to find content. I, I, would, I would be so remiss to say that I want to learn that. I just want someone to do it for me. I just want <laughs> someone to come in and take that and... And keep Richard from ever having to have another conversation about it again. <laughs> That's all I want. It would save our relationship if you could just go in and, <laughs> and because you know, like putting, um, like when we have posts, and every day we're we're told uh, make sure you get your post, you know, uh, do your synopsis of the show. I know I did you're, mine. I did mine. I got it. Shut up. I know you're great. And you got it. Yeah. And I'm going to do mine for tomorrow Those... this afternoon. Oh, I just shut need to confirm. Up. Give me a shut up. Nathan. I know. We, we got no, it. We I got wasn't it good at first. And, and then I got really good for about a week or two. And then I got bad again. And you you said earlier how fast they're getting this stuff up. Yeah. Yeah. And so that they're supporting me that strong. So us. Yes. So that's my little way. That Not little way. It's, it's, it's what we have to do. But to me, if I don't, they haven't said it yet. But if I don't, then I'm not showing my respect to them. Uh, because I've dropped the ball on other things, so that's yeah. at least one thing i got to stay on top of. <laughs> Brother, I wish I had No, I've dropped the ball. Okay, yeah, trust me, I think if you and I sit down and no. talk together, we probably both drop the ball on some oh, things. I, and, and my attention spans about a week. I can get it done in a week, and I feel, I feel so good about that. And then the next week, I'm like, I don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. And I just It's terrible because it's it's not right. I I know I should be doing it. They're doing their job, and I should be doing mine. But it's just the IDC factor becomes so high. Do you know what that is? IDC. Uh, I don't care. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, thought <laughs> I thought you don't care. Was, I, I don't sure. care what. <laughs> so my I, uh, becomes so high that it's just you know like, it's terrible. Uh, but there's so many things going on I, outside of this and and the kids and right. summer and all that stuff. So a lot, I can ha I have a lot of excuses that I can go ahead and give, but. I need to sit down. I need to take like three days. It's going to take three days to catch up on everything that I need to do. And, uh, and well, you got a lot. You got your outside life, and then you've got five days a week. And I'll tell you, up until recently, I I was even myself thinking, wow, would it be cool to be like Cindy, to have Monday through Friday, blah blah blah, be like the big boys. Don't want to be <laughs> Rush Limbaugh. Don't want to be Hannity. Don't want to be Beth. Those guys have turned <laughs> into buttheads. But I thought that was cool. You know what? The past week or so. That's a lot to bite off. I don't know that I want. I would want that. That's you're busy. I think you're smart to do the do the three days and and always believe me always. Richard is always saying to me, Cindy, I'm going to take you to two days and see if you can even do two days. No, says, that's what we're going to do. And if we have to go to one day, we're going to go to one. You know, he says so. Uh, but I said, but Richard, if you have because it's it's prime property, you know that mm -hmm. that he real estate that he could be selling. And I said, if you have people that. I don't want to keep you from any money, but I do have a sponsor, remember. And uh, and this sponsor may uh, re-up and uh, continue on. That would be the biggest shock of Who's all. that sponsor? Uh, Wooten Financial Group. Wooten Financial. Yes. She's community radio. You need to re-up right now, today, Wooten Financial. <laughs> be a part of the community. You're not just getting her plugs. You're not just getting her shout-outs. You're getting other people to know that Wooten Financial backs the community. That's right. I'm so Wooten Financial, you've got Lloyd Sandifer of the Conroe Firefighters Association who's coming on next, who might be sitting outside, might not. Maybe he raised his hand and waved at us. I don't know. <laughs> but he just heard that Wooten Financial is thinking about That's right. being a, new, a sponsor again. Anyway. And who can forget? And who can forget? <laughs> That's what he does. Yes, that's, right. <laughs> that's what he does. Yeah. I like to promote people. <laughs> I, I wanna, do. That's what I, I do for a living. You. And, uh, and who can forget Wooten Financial? Um, I was had my Woot, Woot. grandchildren on with me, they're 12 and 10, and I say, uh, and I want to thank our sponsor, Wooten Financial, and they go, Wooten, what's a Wooten? I'm going like, I hope he's still sponsoring us after this, <laughs> but no one will forget that name. And, and uh, So, it's, so it's when a you great share name. this YouTube video, you know how you can start it at a certain point? 
find out where we started talking about Wooten because I think we've said Wooten 70, 72 times. Yeah, in that's right. Like Ninety seconds. Wait, what was the name of it? Was it was it Wooten? It was Wooten. <laughs> yeah, and it's the, it was funny when we had Chris Wooten on. He oh, he now talked we get about, a first name. Huh? Yeah, we, Chris Wooten. Chris you want to re-sign up as a sponsor? <laughs> be right. a community sponsor. <laughs> when people next week go, hey, did they re-sign? We don't want to say. Uh, he's still thinking about it. <laughs> we want to say, are you kidding? Chris Wooten is a community dude. And he's brave. And he's so brave. I say, <laughs> if you want to know who's brave enough to sponsor this show, look at the Wooten Financial Group, uh, Dot com and uh, and figure out because they've been around a long time so they they've put up their reputation up against, up against uh, mine <clears throat> so anyway it's uh, and it's exciting for people to sponsor this is like a baseball team this isn't like uh, we're going to be able to say hey be sure and go out and buy this and today you only have twenty minutes left hurry and get that done and uh, so it's not that kind of thing it's a sponsorship like you you know you put the the t shirts on the kids and they go out and you know, people that are watching the game can see their name on the back. It's a sponsorship. So uh, let people know that it shows that you're sponsoring the community, you know, plus the, you know, like the radio station. And that we are on here because of, like, the city is partnered in, in this. And that if anything happens, you know, a lot of people don't understand, well, why do we have our own radio station? Why would we do that? Is that if there is a tragedy, if some catastrophe happens, people can go to the radio and to this station and the city takes over at that point and lets us know what's happening. Or they, Channel 12. They, Channel 12 as well on And Channel 12 on Suddenlink as, as well. So if your TV goes down, you got your radio. If radio goes down, you got your TV. Uh, but so we do have an emergency, you know, uh, uh, obligation here as well if something happens. And that's that's good for the community to know. Yeah. We have a place to go. And so we thank Suddenlink for, you know, for allowing that as well. But Channel 12... And I'm on at 9 o'clock in the morning, and I can't get anybody to wake up in my, in my household to watch it. 9 o'clock on, on our city TV? Uh, yeah. Oh, good yeah. for you. Yeah. Is it five days a week, too? It's four days uh, a week. Four days a week, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. That's yes. awesome. Because I went to the lineup the other day, and, and I can't see. It doesn't really show the TV. It, no, it doesn't. That's what, you know, you push that, and it goes educational programming That's throughout. That's cool. But it just start, this just started, right. I mean, this week. So Wait, they classify you as educational programming? It's a little conflict of interest there. I don't know. It's not right. But I, <laughs> you're going to learn something. You're going to learn I'm never going to listen to this show again. But um, you will learn something. But Montgomery County Lifestyle, right there, Montgomery County Lifestyle with Nathan Manicotti uh, is, is, on, <laughs> is on Wednesday through Friday. So, and, and you know what? I'm thinking about changing the name. What are you going to call it? Don't know. I, you know. And I had this long discussion with Rick and a few other friends beforehand. I know it sounds great. I don't like my name in there. I think it's too long. Montgomery County Lifestyle with Nathan Arizadi. I don't like my name in there. I'm afraid, <laughs> and I may be wrong, because, and, and no I offense am. to you, Cindy. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you're the Cindy Carkin show. And then you got the Rush Limbaugh's and whatever. <laughs> but because I, tr because I try to do more outside in the community, mm -hmm. uh, and, and we were talking about what I do. Okay, for a perfect example. I help people, okay? Who am I helping today? Well, I'm helping City Councilman Dwayne Ham promote his event tonight. People say, oh, are you, are you supporting him? Are you political? Well, I'm in the political arena, but A, I'm not a consultant or a manager. I'll right. never be one. I don't know that. I don't, I don't consult. I don't advise. Mm -hmm. I promote. So I'm promoting his event, and I want everybody to go out and talk to him. If you don't like him, well, go ask him questions tonight. Pay 30 bucks, eat all you can eat crawfish, and, and, and ask him. So right. I'm trying to push people there. But if he had an opponent and they wanted to hire me, I'd promote their event too. I would be, I would be equal. And he'd be cool with that. Well, I'd, I'd let him know up front. Yeah. Because I'm not exclusive. Now, if his opponent is somebody that I personally feel is detrimental to that position, then I have the right to not promote them. Right. And I, and I probably wouldn't. The point is I'm not going to be biased and say, you need to go to his event tonight and you need to vote for him. Yeah. The voters need to decide that. Right. And so – so by doing that or by promoting other events, I just don't want my name to be – I want Montgomery County kind of Lifestyle to be known as something that promotes business, people, organizations, causes, yeah. fundraisers, and I don't want my name in there. I know that my name and my face is going to be seen in my voice. I well, just don't want to promote it. I don't want to promote I just, me. I, I, we probably have like a 30-minute discussion on, on how to and why. Why your name and your face needs to – be on there because you're a personality you're a forceful personality and that's you know people know you they like you they see you out there but the more promotion of who you are and put a face on it instead of just a name i know i think 
And, and that's the only reason I do it. Believe me, I don't want to see no, no, my no, no, face. No, 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 no. Yours is stuff. different because yours is the way you do your radio show. Right. I think. Yeah. I love the fact that it's, it's a Cindy Cochran show. Oh, it is all about. If you Cindy said Cochran. you were changing that, <laughs> no, and it is. it is. If you said you were changing that, I would fight you on that. But I think because I'm out doing other things, it's, I'm it's just less afraid. about you and more about the, yeah, the community. Yeah, I just don't want those few detractors I, to say that I'm trying to make it about me. Let's face it. There's some political people out there. Oh, my God. If I see them at one more event, <laughs> taking selfies and stuff like that, and they say it's not about them, okay, then why did you take 782 selfies last month? No, I'm, I'm very know? transparent about that. But I have an expert that's listening. This is every day. Uh, that Don Wilson, who uh, is all about, you know, the L.A. scene, the Hollywood scene, and all that. He knows all those people and all that. I would love to hear his um his explanation or, or his input to this, and he will do it. I'll get his Ask him. Uh, message. I, I, and I really, I'm, I need help on this. I know. I, I'm open for for advice. I will. You know, with a voice like yours, it's very distinguishable. Face like yours, very distinguishable. I think it's just, you have a face just, to I can't say distinguishable. <laughs> uh, kind of like Lloyd Sandifer. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but that you also have this personality, and that this is. You're known by this. So a lot of people that know you or heard, heard you want to see this. But they may not want to come. Montgomery County lifestyle could be so generic in a I sense. Know. But you bring, uh, you know, something to that. I, I just think the brand needs to have your face on. You need to have your face branded. Like, that's my, that's just well, totally my opinion. Name. Yeah, and that would be, I think that would be fine. Because uh, your name in it makes it seem like it's a little more about you and your and, and your success rather than, whoever you're representing or you're doing the work for success. So he's, I, he's 21 years old. He's a pup. He's a baby. He's a baby. He's also, you know, but he's been, the engineer he's been paying big money to be He's the engineer. He can make me sound bad, maybe look bad and all that kind of stuff. So I, I listen. <laughs> no, but the social media part of it is what he is so right. in tune in tune with. And you've got, you've got that part of it. I'm just saying having a face on something and when people see you in an event, yeah. they'll know to come to you, yeah. they'll, you know, and that kind of thing. But, uh, but just your face, Don. What do you think? So Don will will let me know. Uh, but we don't have another segment because you came in so no. And I asked you. You told me ten thirty. I, I told no, you. No, no, you you were good. We 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 skipped the the second or the third commercial break, and I've got oh, the, good, good. The, yeah, go. don't worry, Wooten. I've got the third commercial okay. ready to go <laughs> for when we close out the show. But we do have two minutes left on here, so I do want to ask Nathan for all those out there that are needing help in this. Is there a way yes. that they can contact you or get a hold of you to hire you? Man, you guys are wonderful, and I owe you big time. Just Montgomery County Lifestyle. Go to the Facebook page, Montgomery County Lifestyle. Send me a message or call me at. 936-446-9545. Again, that's 936-446-9545. Get a hold of the station. You You're know, giving out your, is that your cell number? That's my cell number. I, I give I give nonprofits <laughs> a discount. I try <laughs> to do some gratis. I try to do free work as much as I can, but let's be honest. I, I, I did way too much last year and recently, and it, and it hurts me uh, financially. But, yeah. but I don't mean that in a crybaby way. I mean that in, I want to... I want to do good for others, so I got to make a little bit of money, not a lot. Well, you know, I've got an eight-year-old truck, so it's not like I'm buying brand new trucks. <laughs> but, um, but it's all about promoting the community. It's all about promoting an event, like yourself. If you had a big, let's say that you had a um, open house right. to celebrate Wooten resigning, right? I, I would love to do one of my videos. Hey, folks, here with Cindy Cochran, and oh my God, you need to come see her show live. In fact, come in, come into the studio live yeah. next Wednesday. Blah 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 blah. And it would be so cool, whether it's one person or 20 people show up, to know that I got to help you do that. And if I can make a couple of dollars doing it, then even better. That's that's awesome. I, I love your uh, energy and everything about you. And let me promote just a little thing right now, is that this is the thir first Thursday of the month. Now, we're going to get down home right now, and we're going to uh, promote the first Thursday of the month is Farmer's Market right across the street. And it's, it's so great because they have all the farmers come out with fresh fruit produce and they have uh, vendors that are out there uh, selling their wares and that kind of thing not their underwears just the wares okay and, and we also have uh, live music always always right here in the corner of Metcalf and Main Street is you just go over there to what's the name of that park that park is right there and I don't know the name of that park uh, anyway it's you'll see it everybody's there and and coming to it so uh, it's first Thursday every month and it's just so much fun. It's ridiculous how much fun that is. So don't miss it. If you like fresh produce and you want to get some good old country, country kind of stuff, 
It's Montgomery lifestyle. Yes, it is. Okay, uh, so we're uh, we're thank you so much for thank coming you by. For Next me. time you got to come back for a whole hour. Okay, okay let's do it. Well, okay. but nobody go anywhere because we do have Montgomery County lifestyle with Nathan Arizadi coming up now. That's what I was getting ready to say. You're always I'm just feeling quick, my thunder. I'm quicker than you. <laughs> But you have been listening to the Cindy Cochran Show. Cindy Cochran, yes, it's all about me. Uh, okay, so guys, thank you again, Wooten Financial Group. This program is sponsored by the Wooten Financial Group. It is not the intent of Wooten Financial Group to render or offer personalized investment advice or financial planning advice through this radio program or any related website. Wooten Financial Group's participation in this program is limited to providing general information on financial matters and should not be construed as financial recommendation or investment advice. Investment advisory services are offered through Game Plan Advisors, Inc., a registered investment advisor registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission and the State of Texas. Insurance services are offered through Wooten Financial Group, Inc., Game Plan Advisors and Wooten Financial Group, Inc. are affiliated through common ownership and neither firm is affiliated with The Cindy Cochran Show. No listener should assume that any information presented and or made available on this program serves as the receipt of or a substitute for personalized individual advice from Game Plan Advisors, Wooten Financial Group, or any of their representatives. Hi, this is Cindy Cochran, and I want to thank you for checking out The Cindy Cochran Show and invite you to listen live every weekday morning from 10 to 11 on FM 106.1 and on 104.5 and globally on IRLoneStar.com. The show you just fell in love with was recorded and will be posted on our podcast channels on iTunes and Google Play. You can even watch the show on our YouTube and on TV with our City TV Channel 12 on Suddenly. So make sure to subscribe to keep up with me. My Facebook page, The Cindy Cochran Show, is always a good place to contact me through messages, to interact live on the air and ask questions, make suggestions, whatever. Special shout out to the show title sponsor, The Wooten Financial Group. Thanks for checking out this podcast of Lone Star Community Radio, Montgomery County's community radio station. If you enjoyed this recording, make sure to check out our past shows online at IRLoneStar.com or their respected video or podcast formats on YouTube, Google Play, or iTunes. If you have any questions regarding the show, either it being about sponsorships or questions for the host, contact the station manager at D-I-C-K at IRLoneStar.com or call the station at 936-647-647. 3776. This show was recorded in downtown Conroe, Texas at the Lone Star Community Radio Studio. And Lone Star Community Radio reserves all rights to this recording and images.